a hundred days after the Russia-Ukraine war started. Now, there are hundreds of ordinary citizens who have been fighting that war in Ukraine, and among them are the country's unsung LGBTQ soldiers. These soldiers are creatively challenging the existing social norms and making themselves seen. Ukrainian soldiers are fighting two forces, Russia and the gender norms. They are literally wearing their identity on their sleeves. LGBTQ soldiers are stitching unicorn emblems on their uniforms. Uh, it dates back to 2014 when uh, Russian war started and uh, um, lots of people just said there are no um, gay people in the army and so they chose the unicorn uh, because it's like a fantastic non-existent creature and so it became the symbol of LGBTQ people in the army. Alexander Zohan and Antonina Romanova are one such queer couple they are quite ordinary, except for the fact that they spend their time defending their homeland. They are also fearlessly open about their sexuality. Romanova identifies as non-binary. And despite being in a traditionally masculine space, her experience in the army has been largely positive. There was no bullying or aggression. A slight surprise. It was a little unusual for the others. But over time, people started calling me Antonina. Some even used my she pronoun. Homosexuality was legalized in Ukraine only in 1991. However, the stigma faced by the queer people remains. Queer people face the threat of physical and sexual violence. For them, it is a risk to just exist. The military has been notoriously homophobic institution. It has been a, a homophobic institution worldwide. Accounts of officers being discriminated against and even discharged due to their sexuality are not uncommon. And in such a scenario, the Ukrainian soldiers' proud acceptance of their identity is providing a voice to the community and sending out a loud message. It is a huge step indeed for the LGBTQ community in Ukraine. <laughs> we are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.